Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about how to remove a tripod from a 360 image in Premiere um, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, as you can see, I'm looking at uh, a single uh, shot here um, and I notice that I do have a tripod. If I look at the tripod view here and look down, you can see that there is a tripod along with its shadow right here that I'd like to remove. So uh, to do this, what we're going to need to do, I'm going to get back to my equal rectangular view here is we're going to take a screenshot of what we see here put your playhead over a place where um, a typical um, just shot will be and what we're going to do is click on the little camera icon if you don't see this hit the plus button make sure that you drag that camera icon into your area here uh, but we're going to click the camera icon once that's going to export that frame that we're on uh, with our playhead we're just going to call this temp one export and I'm going to select a PNG as our file type and I'm just going to export it to our desktop here I can browse for where I want to do it and I'm not going to import this into our project we don't need this one we'll need something else so I'll just hit OK the next thing I'm going to do is go to my desktop here and now I have temp one it's just a screenshot and I'm going to import that into Photoshop so just drag it onto the Photoshop and it'll open up here uh, the next step is to take this equal rectangular file and turn it into a spherical, um, a spherical panorama. So click on the 3D spherical panorama and then you can slowly click. I'm clicking and letting go and I'm clicking down until I see the tripod. In order to see more of our field of view here, we're going to change our field of view to like something smaller like 5. that allows us to um, get the tripod as well as the, um, the shadow in. So to remove the shadow and tripod, we're gonna do two things. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is open up our spherical map so we can see the equal rectangular. This and these, these two files are linked together. So anything I do on one, it will uh, fix on the other, right? So I'm opening up my equal rectangular and I'm going to have, I'm going to create a new blank layer just by clicking the plus button layer two. Uh, and now I'm going to go back to my spherical panorama here and I'm going to use my brush tool B for brush and I'm going to select uh, just the soft round and 250 pixels in this case to make it a nice big brush. And I'm going to paint on the tripod in black and I'm doing this to create a selection area like I will be selecting this area like that and you'll notice when I do finish the painting and, and the tripod is completely uh, absorbed by this paint if I go to my spherical panorama you'll notice that I had painted on the layer 2 because that's the one I'd selected and that's important because if I hold the command key down on the Mac and click right on the icon it'll create a selection of just the black that I drew on along with the fuzzy edges which is really important okay the next thing I want you to do is turn off that layer to turn on layer one and click it to select it because what we're going to do now is we're going to do we're going to it's going to affect layer one go back to the spherical panorama and if you turn off that set layer two it'll also turn off the black that we initially started with we're now going to go to our polygon lasso tool and we're just going to lasso around the stuff that we do not want in our shot. And in this case, it's just the shadow and the tripod. And we know if we hold the shift key down and hit the big delete button, that'll bring up our content aware fill. And I'll just hit OK. And what will happen is uh, it'll just replace everything inside of that selection with uh, stuff that it finds from around. So now we've removed our tripod um, and you'll notice if you go back to the equal rectangular you see the tripod has been removed in this bottom area, right? So why did we make this selection? Well, we're going to take that selection and we're going to inverse it, right? And now on this layer we're going to delete all this stuff and just keep the, the hidden tripod area. I'm just going to hit the big delete button and you'll notice this is all transparent. That means our video we will be able to see and this will actually not move but it'll hide the tripod that was on the ground, right? Uh, I'm going to take that layer two. I don't need it anymore and throw in the trash. And now I'm going to select and deselect. And then finally I'm going to save this as a copy 
save it as a PNG because that allows that transparency. Do not use JPEG in this case. Uh, I will call this um, tripod removed. I'm going to put that on the desktop as a PNG file. Save it as a large file. And then if I go back to Premiere, I can now import file, import that tripod removed PNG file into the try into Premiere. I'm going to put that on top of the uh, video and you'll notice and I'm going to stretch it out so it fills it has the exact same length as the entire video. But now you'll notice that if I do go into the video and look around, you'll see that the video is playing here, but there is no tripod at the bottom. Um, but we still can see the action because because we don't have, um, so we're on a different video here. But you can see, the, still see the action because it's only this part that's uh, occluding that area. So that's how you uh, remove a tripod from a clip. And you'd have to do this for all the other clips as well. This clip has some type of uh, mask on it, but we can ignore that. So all the different clips that you have in your footage, uh, all of them are going to need the same tripod removal technique. Hope this helps.